Hello everybody, it's Boaz Feiler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for August 17th, 2016. We're heading towards the lunar eclipse and that's a pivotal point. Uh, it's a point in which we flush out the old and welcome the new. And we're in a point of high tension in the skies. We've been going through these crazy transits from February with Mars. Finally going to end in a few days. I think it's August 23rd that we're going to start feeling a release. We're starting to feel the weight off our shoulders. I mean, we have been feeling lighter from the point that Mars went out of retrograde and even more so when Mars, when Saturn went out of retrograde. But these two are, 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 are meeting in the sky, are joining in the sky. And when that happens, we could feel a lot of frustration. We could feel as if we're banging our head on a brick wall and we're not getting the output that we want. And why? Well, think of it metaphorically. Mars, the god of war, the young, enthusiastic warrior aiming to conquer new lands and new experiences. Not thinking too much about anything, just acting with passion. Is meeting the old Lord of Time, the Lord of Karma, Saturn. The old, experienced, wise man. Looking at him, at every action that he does and examining it and testing it and saying to that young man and to our younger part that wants to act out in the world hey are you doing it correctly are you doing things right are your actions the right actions that would produce the fruits that you're looking for you cannot fool me. If this glass cannot hold water within it, it is not a cup. And you cannot call it such. So when these two meet, all our actions are being really tested and judged. And if things need to be changed, they will. Because if they won't, frustration would be just too high and make us understand that things need to change and where it is in what area of your life for that we have to see your own personal natal chart but we can all feel it somewhere in some area of our life during these next few days going back to today the moon is in Aquarius and it's in a pentagram in the sky which talks about purging and talks about cleansing and talks about the fact that during these days we might be under a lot of stress even if we're not doing much there's still things that are going on inside there is cleansing purifying healing that is going on inside there are things that need to be left behind there are things that we need to understand that although they gave us a lot of comfort in the past that well has dried up and is no longer a part of our future. And if you're brave enough to do so, we'll be walking up to our futures with a lighter load, but with a smile on our face and a lighter heart as well. And then after that, there's a sextile to Saturn and Mars from the moon. And that's just a lot of energy coming in with a lot of breaks at the same time. So again, heightening the fact that our action need to be monitored and need to be tuned in and be more exact and focused. Mercury is, con is conjuncting Jupiter. A lot of information coming in. Open your ears. Mingle with people. Let that information flow in. And if there's any important messages that you need to send out, disseminate the messages. Don't keep them in. Venus, the planet of relationships and how we gain money and satisfaction in our lives, is trining Pluto. It's a time that we graduate, we become more powerful, we understand that we can uh, draw more of satisfaction or money or relationships on a deeper, more, more, more intense level, and that's good. So 
So that's everything for today and I hope you're going to have a beautiful day. And if you want to study evolutionary astrology with me, contact me. All the details in the slide at the end of this video. Thank you for listening. This is Boaz Fader. Goodbye.